Okay, hi guys. So, today is my 17th birthday. It is February 28th and it is like 7.25 in the morning. My school starts at 9, but I get there early because my dad drops off um, my brother first since he starts at 7 30. I mean, not 7 30, 8 30, and he just drops me off after. So let me tell you guys, last night I could not sleep at all. Like, not, I slept for like, for like a good like, hour or two, and then I woke up because there were police sirens at 3 in the morning on my street, and that woke me up. So, yeah, and then after that, I just I just kind of go back to sleep because I was so tired. Because usually, like, I'm able to sleep fine. Like, especially if I take a nap, then it's like I'm really tired. And if I take a nap, then it's like I'm still able to sleep, like, completely fine without any trouble from the Like, it's really rare if, like, this happens to me. And it happens, like, at least once a month. So I wouldn't say it's, like, really rare, but it's, it's rare, you know? So anyways, let me tell you guys my plans for today. So honestly, I'm just gonna go into school and just treat it as if it were like a regular day because to be honest, I made my 16 like a big deal so it's like this year I kind of just I don't really want to celebrate it but it's like my friends are giving me gifts and stuff you know it's like they know it's my birthday I can't, I can't be willing to be like oh, like, I don't want your gift yeah so I'm just gonna go in today with an open mind and you know hopefully nothing too crazy happens because I really do not want anything really okay, anyways so after school I have two job interviews one is at the mall close to my house and then the other is at this restaurant and keep in mind I've been trying to find a job for like a good like month now and I've gone to like several interviews but they just they just don't want to hire me because number one it's like my first job which i understand but it's like man i need this job you know and then there's another thing that i want to apply to it's called dci and dci is basically like my district like photography and i'm just waiting for like applications to open because they want to take applications like every semester so it's like i have to wait i can't just you know get in and then once like i turn in my application they're gonna look over and think if like i'd be a good fit for team and offer me an interview which obviously i want to take but yeah i'm just waiting for that right now and then this job too i really need this job to come through because my mom has been on my butt about how other juniors your age are doing so much and you're like not doing anything you're always at home you're relaxing it's like okay my bad breath was like, I really, I really, really need this job to come through. I really don't want to get, I don't know how else to put this with bitch staff anymore. Anyways, I got my learner's permit in November, and I've been waiting for my mom to find me a driving instructor because I need one, and I'm just like, I'm always like telling her, oh, why can't you teach me? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do this? I'm like, you know what to teach me? He's like, no, I cannot teach you how to drive. I'm just like, okay, but now you're just gonna start. Like, literally, yesterday I went out for dinner. Not to like celebrate or anything, but I was like forced because my mom's friend, they asked us to go out and eat because I don't know, it's your day off or something, I don't really know. And like, my parents' friends literally offered to teach me how to drive. And I was like, you know what? I'm so down. Let's just go because at this point, I'm really just desperate. I want to learn how to drive. And it's like, I have to learn how to drive soon. That's what I'm waiting on right now. So hopefully it works out because baby, I need my license. I'm 17 now. I'm, I'm like, come on. Like, I've had my freaking permit since November. I need to drive at this point. I'm 17. I have a freaking license and I need to get my life together. Like, I'm playing jobs and that's an update right now i just really like want my driver's license and, yeah, oh my god you guys know worst of all is i'm on my freaking period and it just started too like can you can you believe the timing like on my birthday too why on my birthday i feel like i'm aging and it's like why on my birthday bro as of right now i'm trying to go to my school's away games and like take pictures for them so i can gain more like experience of sports photography because i feel like photography might be something that i want to do in the future but i'm not so sure yet because although i enjoy it i don't know if i can see myself i guess really doing it long term so it's like i really like have to plan out my future i'm already junior it's second semester already like i need to get my stuff together next year first semester i'm gonna be applying to colleges can you believe that time literally passed away so fast it's absolutely crazy i have my photography teacher reach out to the coaches and be like oh do you need a photographer personal photographer for like your team because i want to i want that opportunity you know i want to grow my photography account and i just want to i just want to make that grow to myself and i want to reach out i don't even have to ask like people will know who i am they'll be the ones asking me to take pictures i know that their program at my school just for photography because like i want i want to grow something for myself i don't I don't want to be known as like, oh, she's from this, she's from that program, like, I just want to be known for my photography. As of right now, that's what I'm trying to do. Hopefully, everything just falls into place because I genuinely really need things to fall into place. And as far as love life goes, like, honestly, as much as I want to have a high school sweetheart, I'm dreaming at this point. Realistically, I am dreaming because I know that's not happening. There was this one guy that I had interest in, but I don't really know what's going on with that, so I don't know. And we have plans next year for my 18th birthday to, like, go to the beach and watch the sunset and, like, have a picnic on the beach or something. I don't really know if that's gonna happen anymore. The men in this generation, they are so sassy. Like, who in the world gave you the right to be so sassy? Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, people are just so sassy. I don't know, I feel like it's a lot of people in my life, whether they're still in it or not, I feel like they've all taught me lessons that are really valuable because I'm, it taught me what I like and what I don't, so it's like I know what to do and what not to do if a certain situation ever happens again. Whether it's friends or relationships, like, they both equally taught me in lessons I would forget because they genuinely are really valuable. I don't know, I feel like as you grow older, you realize the kind of people that you really want to surround yourself with because your environment is, like, so important. It's taken me until junior year to really realize that if people talk crap about you, you either gave them a reason to or they're just honestly saying the truth about you. You know, I know that sometimes, like, I can come off as, like, a little bit, I mean, not a little bit, like, a lot mean. I'm just straightforward, and if you don't like that, then that's, I guess, a reason to talk about me 
I can't, I can't control that. Like, I know that I'm a straight up person and I know that I will get hated on for being a straight up person. If you don't like me, you don't like me. At the end of the day, I, I'm probably never gonna see you again out of high school. I could really care less. And I've had situations with a certain person who used me for this, who used me for that. And it just taught me I give people opportunities and chances when I really, really should not. Because what was I thinking? If people hate you, you must have given them a really good reason to. Because I give everyone chances. And if I hate you, then that's just another hate on you. It's like, it's not, it's not a good thing either. If you think like having a lot of haters is good, then you are delusional. Just let me tell you, you gave those people a reason to hate you. And they hate you for probably a really good reason. Unless they're just jealous. If you did some stuff and did said this or that, you gave them a reason to hate you because i don't even know how to explain like it genuinely pisses me off people are so dumb that's just like my perspective on things because i am a really big observer and that's just what i noticed from being an observer people will always have their reasons if they're jealous of you then let them be jealous literally no one cares and you are never going to see them again if people hate you for no reason let them they are just degrading themselves and prolonging themselves of the future that you are preparing yourself for i mean if their problem is literally not your problem because you are taking the steps to create your future create something for yourself if someone wants to get in the way of that talk smack literally do not let them because they obviously have nothing better to do with their, their time and i'm sorry actually i'm not sorry because they're gonna get nowhere i give my condolences because like, i genuinely feel bad for that they are not taking the steps if they want to live off of mommy and daddy's to let them it's just like my perspective on things anyways i finished my makeup and now i am going to get dressed and i will show you guys my fit after i'm done okay so i have my green top with white jeans and then i'm gonna pair it with my bursty jacket and my dunks. Guys, guess who finally came back from Ecuador? I'm unfortunately back. She didn't even want to come back. Who wants to be in school? Like, mm -hmm. yeah. she was living her life. As I should, because I don't got no life in here, but. <laughs> okay, anyways. She got me my gift, which. I will open in another video because my life savings are there. <laughs> <laughs> like, honey, my bank account is that negative. I was like, no, no. Let's not worry about that. Um, I'm going out for lunch. You're, mom. You're taking me, right? Yes. Well, I have to ask my friend first. But she she'll probably say yeah. She has to. <laughs> but look. Here, what are you gonna get? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get get food or what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm broken. <laughs> I'm gonna starve. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Hi guys. Are we vlogging? Boy and Cam. Yes. Oh my god. And if we need to talk, I'm gonna get chalk. And then why? Why? Um, That's so random. Ariana. And then she got me okay, someone an oolong milk tea from 85. What do we need a penny for? This is Isabel. And then we have a little card from Ariana, which I'll show you guys in a different video. Okay, hi guys. We're in fourth period. Fourth period is my TA class, and it is her photography class. So this is Shia. Hi. <laughs> we're walking around yes. and we're walking back to class now yes. oh because my God, you're glowing it's her birthday today so like because comment down below <laughs> yeah because we are good kids yeah we don't skip class yeah we don't we don't do that yeah yeah amazing kids you know okay bye, bye. guys Starbucks right now and we'll get Chick-fil-a after Okay, so we just got ordered Chick-fil-A. We have two fries in there, and then we we're waiting for a kid's meal because uh, she didn't, she didn't charge. charge us. For some reason, the here to my Starbucks. And yeah, now we're just waiting. Yeah. My stomach hurts, so I'm just gonna steal some food from <laughs> So, and I'm broke. <laughs> okay, hi guys. We are in a Peng, and we have Caitlin and Renee. Hello. Hi. And um, I got my Starbucks, and then they got me flowers. Signature silhouette. There's signature silhouette on there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so tired. I'm back again, guys. I'm back. The caffeine isn't working from these. I had an oolong milk tea, and now I have matcha. 
You're gonna pee a lot when you go home. No, I'm not. The caffeine isn't working, guys. Okay. We're in the elevator. Hi. Just for the YouTube. YouTube. Yes. Oh, it's for the Look at my flowers, guys. They're so pretty. And then I gave her my Starbucks because I didn't want it anymore. This is so textured. It feels good. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god, guys. Some girl from my school literally just dropped off flowers at my house and they're so pretty. Like, I'm genuinely in shock and she didn't tell me that she dropped them off either and I feel so bad because I wanted to say thank you. I'm like in shock and I'm so happy. But anyways, guys, I set up my little bouquet. It's kind of dark. But it's fine. But oh my god, guys. Who needs a boyfriend when you have girlfriends that do this for you? I hate men. Oh my god, guys. She didn't. I literally cannot stop fangirling over these flowers because who needs a man? Not me. I got my girls. Guys, like, I'm literally in complete shock. Like, these flowers are so pretty. Like, now I have, like, two vases of flowers. I have this one. And then I have this one. Oh, wait. Like, they are literally so pretty. Oh, my God. I'm, I, I'm like, I'm like a little happy giddy kid. Because, oh, my God. Like, this, I've never gotten flowers for my birthday before, and I've never had them dropped off at my house before. Like, oh my god. But yeah, okay, let me tell you guys how I think my job interview went. Let me tell you guys about my job interviews. So, the first interview I had, it was at a restaurant. It was like a Wagyu what shabu it was wagyu steak place and i feel like the interview didn't go so well because one i wasn't really prepared and two i was like half asleep because i didn't really get sleep last night i got like three hours total and then the second place that interview went like really well me and the um assistant manager like we got along really well and um, yeah the second one was really good but i would rather work at the first one over the second one because i feel like it's just a better environment for a teenager and yeah yeah that's basically it i think i'm about to go get my cake at portos happy birthday to you happy birthday to Stella. happy birthday to What is your wish? If I tell anyone, it won't come true. Okay. Very good. That means you're going to be able to get out of here. Don't believe the fire. Okay, so that is going to close up today's video. I am officially 17 guys that's actually crazy but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed please like subscribe and comment down below what you guys would like to see and yeah i hope you guys have a good night or a good morning and bye bye